Hey everybody, Jay Carrillo here with Radco Lube CLP, and today we are talking about cleaning guns. I'm cleaning all three guns, the pistol, the rifle, and the shotgun, because I'm a three-gun competitor. So typically when I'm cleaning guns, of course you got to make sure that the guns are unloaded, no ammunition on the table. Uh, typically what I do is I lock the gun back open if I'm in a hurry because sometimes we're, uh, uh, we're busy in our lives and uh, a, a deep clean is not always convenient to do. So I typically just lock the gun open, spray a little bit of Radco Lube in there. Q-tips are always good to have if you don't have them, if you are traveling and out and about that are available almost anywhere you go. We all take the Walmart visits at every match and uh, if you forget to bring your boar snake, uh, Walmart will always have those available. So a little bit of red glue down the barrel. Run that through there a couple a couple times. Paper towels are always easily accessible. sure to wipe down all the surfaces that are typical wear surfaces. I always like to add a little bit more. The more you've got enough when you get a little bit coming back at you after shooting the stage. If you don't, you didn't put enough on there in my opinion. Alright, so pistol, that's typically my pistol cleaning routine. That'll be good for a few hundred rounds at least. And I like to wipe down my mags, make sure that those are nice and clean, free of debris. If they're super dirty, I'll take them apart, which is super simple to do. Run that through there a little bit. Make sure the follower is nice and clean. And you put into the mag. Close that up and that's good to go. So do that with all my mags and then you're then you're then they're happy, they're nice and clean, your gun's happy, they'll it'll run. And then we got the rifle. Always make sure that the rifle is clear. Release the rear takedown pin, pull out your BCG. And your charging handle. All right. I like to wipe down my charging handle. Make sure that's nice and clean. We, we, before we put that back in, we'll make sure that's nice and wet too. A lot of people don't do that. We fail to keep that nice and lubed up. So we'll do that towards the end. And we got our BCG here. Go ahead and take this firing pin, retaining pin out. Take out the firing pin. It's all carboned up. And we can take out the I've got a roller cam pin instead of the regular cam pin in there. And take out our bolt. You can see that's nice and carboned up as well. And basically all I do is take our paper towel, get that lubed up, roll the bolt or roll the uh, bolt in there, get all that carbon off of there. That's after a few hundred rounds. You can see how easily it comes off with the Radco Lube, especially if it's been pre-treated with the Radco Lube. So I get that nice and shined up there. Make sure that's clean. Right in the bolt face. That's good to go. We get the cam pin nice and shiny again. All 
All right. And we've got the firing pin, which needs a little attention as well. Make sure that's nice and clean. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a three-gun competitor, tack game competitor, or just a tack the cool kind of guy. You want to make sure that your BCG is nice and clean because that tends to be the part that hangs up when it's not clean and happy. So make sure that's nice and clean. All right, get that all wiped up. Take your take your Q-tip. I like to spray a little bit in there. Get that swirled around. All that carbon out of there as much as you can. All right, and clean it from both sides. Now it doesn't have to be like super, super clean until you're not seeing any carbon at all. Those are for safe queen guns. These are these are tools that we use to have fun with. So. I like to get it nice and clean with enough uh, Radco lube on there. All right, get that all put back together here. Oh. You know what? Skip a step here. There we go. It's a little bit different with the roller cam because you don't have anything to index on so you got to pay attention where that hole is so you can get your firing pin back in there all right pardon all the sniffles it's allergy season so here is the charging handle that I was talking about getting lubed up make sure that's nice and lubed up there and then uh, typically I just wipe down the rifle a little bit that all nice and clean and run my run my bore snake through there a little bit more rad glue down the chamber be a little bit trickier trickier with the uh, the oil grabbing on the rope so we got to let gravity do its job here I'll take this apart just so it's a little bit easier to handle here guys go ahead and do that and she's coming out any second there she is just like that all right I like to do that a couple times just to make sure everything is nice and clean in there. All right. All right. If you want to get a little bit more carbon out of there, take your Q-tip, run it along the lugs here. put that back together get your charging handle back in there your bolt carrier group make sure it's good to go yep and then again I'm pretty generous with the oil so if it's not coming back at you a little bit while you're shooting you don't have enough on there she will run like a dream throughout the entire match. So that's the rifle, guys. So yeah, this is this is a shotgun. This is an Arms KL12. And again, this is a this is a critical piece of equipment. Lubed up. 
I typically don't break it down because it's a little bit more of a pain to disassemble, but all the contact surfaces are pretty visible with this gun and easily uh, sprayed and lubed. I typically take some Radco lube and a Q-tip and just hit all the surfaces that you could see that are typical contact points in the gun. Alright, get a little bit more on there. Again, if it's not dripping wet, it's not going to want to run too well for you. The beauty about Radco Lube is that even though it's wet, it doesn't attract dirt and carbon uh, like some other lubes. So get that nice and shiny there. Oh yeah, you could, you could feel the difference. Yep, so. Get a little bit more on the back side here. All right. And she is good to go. I will usually run a boar snake through there much in the same way I do my pistol and my rifles. Uh, so, but that is not uh, as important as keeping the, the bolt nice and wet. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's, that's typical maintenance pre, post, uh, match and uh, the guns run flawlessly. Hey everybody, Jay Carrillo here, Radco Lube CLP. Great American made product, American made, military grade. Radco Lube CLP guys, very, very versatile fluid in all temperature changes. Here in Chicagoland area, we get it all. We can have all four seasons in one week, believe it or not. So from minus 51 degrees to 130 degrees, this product will keep your guns running nice and smooth all day long on the range guaranteed hey guys if you're on the range chances are you see me I will have half ounce bottles of Radco Lube for you to try out on your guns but guaranteed after trying the guns and shooting in adverse conditions especially in the Chicagoland area you will want to pick up yourself a four ounce bottle at the minimum spray a spray bottle will get you through a good a portion of the shooting season, but you're going to want to refill it with a gallon jug. So get yourself some Radco Lube CLP at RadcoLubeCLP.com. 3-Gun 3-in-1 is my code. Feel free to use it as much as you'd like. Get yourself some Radco Lube CLP. Thanks. No, John, no problem.